Please make yourself comfortable. Every day across the country, thousands of people are sitting uncomfortably in the interview hot seat. Interviews are never easy. A few make the grade. The others end up in the application's waste paper bin. We can't carry any dead wood, can we? But there's one man who thinks he can rescue anyone from the bottom of the trash can. Dr. Rob Young is a business psychologist. He's interviewed thousands of people and knows what it takes to shine or bomb in an interview. Already his body language has just given him away. He may as well be naked in there. Rob's going to watch four real candidates going for one real job. Well, we're not just talking about nails in the coffin, we're talking rusty nails. Who will perform so badly that their only hope is Rob's own brand of no-nonsense training? Do you want constructive criticism or do you just want me to leave you alone? And where do you want to be? In Work. Fancy a flash company car and the potential to earn up to 50 grand a year? The White House Group deals in luxury cars. They want a dynamic new sales executive to join their team. Well, first of all, most important thing, cup of tea or coffee. With over 15 years' experience in the motor trade, these interviewers know just what they're looking for. Sales executive needs to be able to build rapport with his customer. It's long hours and it's tough, but the rewards can be very, very good. But the quarter's incentive is very much up for grabs, guys. We're looking for a confident person. Passion and enthusiasm. Good listener. Integrity. Good tone of voice. And rapport building skills, or people skills. These four candidates think they are made of the right stuff. But can they prove it? I think we'll, we'll try to make the person as, as relaxed as possible, but if they can't establish rapport with us, then they're not going to do it with a customer. It's interview day. While the company is looking for the best candidate, Rob will be looking for the worst. And once he's found them, he claims he can transform them from a new hoper to job winner. He's equipped with a monitor and earpiece so that he can see and hear everything that happens. But there's a problem. It's 10.30, we're supposed to start at 10 o'clock this morning, and there's no one here. The first rule of interviewing is don't be late. We've got the chief executive of this business, 1,200 employees working for him. What's to be done, and uh, feeling about here is not exactly productive for anyone. We've got a senior sales guy, they're busy, earn lots of money, and there's an empty chair. The first candidate eventually arrives 45 minutes late. On and off. Oh, hey, good morning. Good morning. The interviewers are pissed off. They've been wasting time, just sat there waiting for him. It's not a good sign. It's going to be an uphill struggle for him to, to fight back, really. Some problems finding us this morning. Well, yes. <laughs> Don't you just love that moustache? No, but being, being cynical aside, there's actually research which was done in the States recently which said that 60% of managers and businesses do not trust people with facial hair. So, buzz it off. Time for the next candidate. Could you just explain what would motivate you to actually keep up with the velocity that this sales department has, which is immense? I don't think anybody could put their hand on their heart and say mm. that they don't just go to work for okay. no other reason than money. Big mistake, he's just mentioned the money word. Money is something that you should only really talk about when you are at the final interview stage, when they've practically offered you the job. Saying that you are motivated by money puts you at the bottom of most interviewers' lists because they'll see through you as a money-hungry little piglet. Now it's the turn of candidate three. I start by talking to people and listening. Mm. OK, first impressions. Shan's a very attractive woman, lovely long blonde hair, but pink suit pink handbag, strappy pink shoes. She looks like she's going for a beauty therapist job, not for something in a high-flying executive sales environment. I have got a goal. You know, the flat that I live in at the moment, I aim to buy it. Her body language is actually really good. She's using her hands to emphasise points. She's using them just in a very natural way. She's using her face, she's nodding. She's using her entire body to give across the feeling that actually she's an interesting person to be with listening to what the customer wants, qualifying them and providing the best service. She's gone from being a bimbo to a very credible candidate for this job. Last up is 19-year-old Ryan Holland. Well, uh, thanks for coming to see us this morning. Ryan looks so overawed by this whole experience. His hands are just tightly gripped across his, uh, his lap. His face is just this immovable mask of stone. What um, strengths do you think you bring to the role then? Although it's not the same, my sales 
is good. So mm. I, I, I can sell to people, I can um, convince them they need to buy. Just listen to the vocal quality of his voice. Interesting people use tone, they go up in voice, they go down to emphasise things, whereas Ryan is talking like this. Do you think you could have said or done anything which you haven't done, which would have guaranteed you this position? No, I don't think so. You perform how you perform, and the person who before me or after me might be just as good or better, you know? Right. So, I think it's down to chance in the end of the day. Okay. The interviews are over, and it's decision time. Despite her pink outfit, Sharon's people skills won over the interviewers and landed her the job. She's very, very confident. Very um, confident. Um, toning down. Yeah, it's been, it's been slightly mm. less garish is maybe the word I'm looking for. But one candidate stood head and shoulders above the rest for all the wrong reasons. Ryan. He's not confident enough. Um, and frankly, be blown away, wouldn't he? Yeah, you could see how nervous, how shy, how um, reticent he was coming forward. He's certainly not ready to take the job now, is he? No. We can't carry any dead wood, can we? No. We've got no room for um, underachievers, and um, the rest of the gang know that, so. Given his appalling interview performance, Ryan has little hope of breaking into any career, let alone one as a car salesman. But Rob thinks in just three days, he can turn Ryan's chances around if, and only if, Ryan is willing and able to change. I mean, just some of the comments that they said, and this is from the horse's mouths, as it were, you know, they said that there was a palpable nervousness about you, um, that you weren't projecting your voice, that you didn't seem confident. They said that your, your tempo was poor. You know, I mean, this is an awful list of things, but they said your, your body language is all over the place. In the interview, you just came across as you were just a little bit down here, and you weren't really impressing them, and they, that's why they gave you all this feedback. The thing they said was that you felt like a boy, not like an executive. Mm, I um, can understand that. We'll think of some things to do to build up your, your self-belief in yourself, because you actually have the skills. Mm. Um, you just need to really believe in yourself to do it. Okay. So you've just really got to trust me, OK? OK, I'll trust you. OK. You don't look like you trust me. No, I'll trust you, don't worry. OK, just keep, OK, think of that voice now. Just push that voice up a little bit. Think louder. <laughs> Go on, just, yes? Yes. Louder. Yes, I trust you. Top-tastic. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I... Since being made redundant, 19-year-old Ryan has applied for over 20 jobs, but hasn't got one of them. He still lives at home with his mum and lorry driver dad. If I can be like my dad, then I'll be a happy person. So, at the end of the day, I just want to come home and put, and put my money on the table and provide for a family like my dad. Ryan's desperate for a decent job, but at the moment, he hasn't got a chance. The first word I think of is fear when I, when I think of interviews. It's a bit, you know. But I say I'll do it again. It's really stupid that I get. Look at me. Ridiculous. The thing is, I don't know how to, to approach people to talk about them, to talk about my problems, so I have to keep soldiering on. <laughs> Over the next three days, Rob is going to try and turn Ryan from a quivering wreck into a confident candidate. Come on, come on, what, come on, what has pissed you off? He won't be pulling his punches and he'll push Ryan to his limits. I'm not here to be your best friend, I'm here to help It's you. not helping. <laughs> it's making me feel worse. Will Ryan rise to the challenge or will he sink into despair? I just go like this. This is stupid. I've had enough. Come here, Ryan. It's day one. In an interview, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. Rob knows that Ryan's weak voice is a major problem, so he's brought him to the busiest train station in Britain. If he can be hard here, he'll be hard anywhere. You need to push that voice out, because at the moment, I have to say, you sound like a chihuahua. I'm sorry, but at the moment, you're just not projecting you're your being voice. Hard. It, it is harsh, I'm sorry, but I'm not here to be your best friend. I'm here to help It's you. not helping. <laughs> it's making me feel worse. I just... No, 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 but what I'm trying to do is get you to really understand what the problem is. At the moment, you're quiet. You don't want to push your voice out there. I need you to project it, to really take deep breaths before you speak. Force your voice out from your stomach. Mm -hmm. We're going to work on that. You don't look happy, why not? I don't really. It's been a bit out of order, to be honest. But what drives you? What, what do you want from your career? 
Well, I guess goals in my personal life motivate me in my career. You know, I want... Speak up. You've done drama, haven't you? Ryan. Yeah. You've done train. drama, haven't you? What are your strengths? Tell me over the train. What strengths do you have? I'm hardworking. Right. I'm ambitious. Okay. I'm loyal and dedicated to any task that I'm doing. I always give it 100%. Keep going! But Rob's not going to be defeated. And where do you want to be in five years' time? Well, in five years' time, I hope to be uh, well established in my career. And if I were to say to you, I'm sorry, Mr. Hollands, but I just don't think you're cut out for this job. Keep going. I'd, I'd say I think there's no one better qualified for this job. And how hard are you willing to work to achieve that? Uh, there's no limit on how hard I'm willing to work to achieve it. You know what? I actually believe you. Well, I am telling the truth. Yeah. I mean, beforehand, you would have been telling the truth. But you see, in your mannerisms, in the way that your body communicates to me, I just didn't quite believe you. So I'm really proud of you, and your voice is loud as well. So we're 20 feet apart, otherwise I would give you a high five. So, you know, high five, well done. It's a promising start. But Rob knows that when it comes to interviews, you can blow it in the first 60 seconds. You have to make a good impression, and fast. One of the key things that you need to do to impress the interviewers is to be able to bond with people, strangers when you meet them, just for that initial couple of seconds. So we're going to ask you to be a door greeter. But the point of this is that if you can talk to customers, then you can talk to anyone, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Just be really relaxed. The most important thing about Fridays is people come here and we're like friends to them, really. You know, like, the, our guests are like people that we would have in our house. Yeah, I know. So. And I've often come here and thought, I could never do that. Really? And here okay. I am now yeah. trying I to do it. I always used to think that, and I, I've got the big hat now. <laughs> so. Hi, welcome to Friday. Table for four, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, right? OK, come this way. So I'm going to be across to take your order in a moment. Enjoy your meal. Cheers. How was that? It's all right. You can do it. OK. Yep. Right. Welcome to Fridays. Would you like a table for two? Yeah. Sure. Table for two. Okay, come this way, grab some menus. Cheers. Just come through this way. There's your menus. So I'm going to be over to take your order in just a moment, OK? All right. Enjoy your meal. OK. Give it a bit of a break. Ryan's just about coping until he thinks he sees someone laughing at him. I'm too yeah. angry and I don't want everyone looking at me, so I'm going to... I'm sorry, mate, but this is really... It's kind of for your own good. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah come on. Yeah. Ryan, I'm Ryan. telling you, I don't want to keep doing it. If you do just one more... If I do one more... We will stop. That'll be it forever. Yeah. Tonight I mean, no, we'll... no, that'll be it forever. If I do one more... That is it. I'm not doing any more. Do you want that job? Not 19 years old, and this. I just go like this. This is stupid. I've had enough. Come here, Ryan. Come here. I can't go back in there, can I? I look like a prat. <laughs> Rob has to call training to a halt as Ryan's unable to go on. Well, today was really nerve wracking. For me, it was really hard. It was um, doing what I try and avoid at all costs, and that's um, mixing with complete and utter strangers and trying to have a little bit of a conversation with them. And I found it really hard to keep up. It's day two. Rob's trying to transform unemployed 19-year-old Ryan into a job winner. Day one ended in tears, and it's clear that Ryan has a paralyzing fear of strangers. But Rob knows unless he can overcome this, he'll never cope in an interview. A busy office complex, a confined space, and no escape. OK, this isn't going to be easy, but I know you can do this. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous, but I'll do it. Okay. Hello. 
Are you going down? Can we, can we go down? It's just yes. the lift won't let us go down. Okay, it's about well, uh, well, well. grand. Yeah, thanks. And then, yeah, yeah, please, thanks. <sighs> That's nice. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Hey, it's got to have lunch in it. Exactly. Second floor. What you need to do now is just throw your voice a little bit more. Just take a deeper breath before you speak. Just to I can't believe you're saying that because I just did. I just did it. See, now you're getting a bit yeah, louder. Yeah, because I'm getting pissed off. Good. OK. No, not good. But I want you to feel a little bit more. At the moment, you're really nervous and therefore your voice I'm is... I'm not nervous. You're qu your voice I'm is not quieter. Nervous. I'm not pissed off. Do you want constructive criticism or do you just want me to leave you alone? Do you want to do this at all? Yeah, I do. But you're really turning me off the idea. Well, how can I how can I give you constructive because advice? Every time, then? every single time. It's not well done. It's well done, but well done, but. Don't get don't get annoyed. All I'm doing is I'm telling you you need to try a bit harder. I'm getting annoyed because I don't think there's anything else wrong, and you're just saying that one over and over again. I've just only just told you that you're not doing it. Yeah. So please just try it, OK? I'll try, because I think Good. I'm doing it anyway. OK, just try it, though. <laughs> There's going to be no I'm... difference at all, because I'm doing it. Go down. Yeah. Do you want to go down? Yeah. Rex is telling someone brightening up the lid. Oh, sorry. It's <laughs> your colour. No, no, it's good. It's good. You're allowed to start with, and then you taper off. So your first sentence to them is good. It's my fault. Whose fault would it be? What's it for? Practice getting me more confident talking to people. All right. It's for me. Ah, it? fantastic. Yeah. So you're training to be a presenter? No, no, I'm hoping to be a car salesman. A car salesman? Yeah, and I need to be confident talking yeah. to people, you see. Oh, so fantastic. Cool. It's all right, as long as I get nice people in the living yeah. room. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you can spend all day. Yeah, yeah you yeah. seem confident, though. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Right. Anybody want to go up? Come on, don't be, don't be shy. <laughs> Come on, help, help me. I need to talk to people and become more confident. Please. Come in this lift. This is the best lift. Go on. Oh, I'm not mad. Just, just use my lift. Can we, go, can, we just, can we just go up to floor two? Yeah, go on. Floor two's good. I'm going to myself. Your friends deserted you, then. <laughs> Left you with the crazy man in the lift. <laughs> Rob's helped Ryan with his fear of strangers and weak voice, but it will be of no use if he collapses under tough questioning. Ryan needs to learn to be assertive and fight his corner. I'm going to push you around. I'm going to push you around physically. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push you around mentally. I'm going to push you around emotionally. What I want you to do is snap. Just really experience those emotions because those emotions are going to be so useful when you're in that interview when someone says no I disagree we don't think you've got the right attitude they think no hang on a minute I do I really do and then you come back bang this is what I'm good at and this is why you should give me the job that's all right I can't, I can't. <laughs> come on just keep punching okay tell him tell him where to go oh, come on Oh. Come on, come on, Ryan. Come on, come on. What has pissed you off? Come on, don't be so, people, so wet. People taking the piss and thinking they can walk all over me. What else has made you angry? <sighs> Leave that because you know the other thing, and I don't want to talk about that. Just in general terms, though, you don't have to give the specifics. Just not being a very nice mate, really, and taking liberties with things that are mine. Okay, taking liberties with things that yours. Okay. Ryan fell out with his friend Ross over a girl. OK, what would you want to say? I don't want to say, I just want to beat him. You want to beat him? Yeah. OK, come on then! OK, come on, Ross. Come on. Ross says you're a pansy. He says you're a pussy. Come on, he says you're weak. He says you're weak. He says he's going to take whatever he wants. He's going to have it whenever he wants. Any time. But you're not going to say no. Yes. Yeah, come on. 
Give us some letting things out. Let it all out. Right, how many years of aggression is this pent up? This is like 19 years. 19 years of aggression? <laughs> what, you've never been this angry? No. Tell them where to go. That's so good. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Just take a break. Have you ever let this out before? No, I'll never let this out. This isn't me, but... So you always keep it in, you feel really controlled. I have to be in control. I can't lose control. Why can't you lose control? Because you get into trouble when you lose control. Yeah. You know? We don't want you to lash out with your fist, but we want you to lash out with words, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So, so when, when you're in an interview and someone's telling, saying something to you that you don't agree with, I want you to feel this way. I want you to feel a bit more assertive, you know, to push back. I'll do it. When someone pushes you around, you say, I'll do it. actually, no. You know, this is why you are going to give me the job. Yeah, I can do that. You can do it. Good. I can do it. I've just got to remember this, because this feeling is, is strong. God. I'm going to fall over in a minute. Ryan's finally released the fighter within him, but there's still another round of training to go. You look so nervous. I am nervous. All you're going to do is let loose, sing in front of a crowd of pissed up strangers. It's about getting that feeling of self-confidence. I can present myself well to a room full of strangers. So how difficult it can be to do it to just two people in that interview room, right? Come on, you can do this. Oh, uh, mm, yeah, OK. Please give it up for him as he walks up towards the stage. It's the Rob Young, have you come please, Rob? Rob's even prepared to show Ryan how it's done. Fantastic. Come and give it up for him. Superb version, that one. Right, moving swiftly along this time. If we could have Ryan up onto the stage, please. Ryan Hollands. Give it up for him as he makes his way to the stage. Come on, Ryan. C7 Nation Army and White Stripes. A 7 Nation Army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it up Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself at night Because I can't forget All the words are gonna bleed from me And I'll sing no more And the stains coming from my blood Tell me go back home Be fantastic. Come on, give it up for him. That was Ryan. Fantastic version of that one. Watch it. Give it up for him. Oh, it's great. I, 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 I would never ever do that before, and I've been missing out on so much. That is just so much fun. And who cares if I sound shit? I don't care. It was just so much fun. I want to get in and do it again. <laughs> Ryan may be on a high now, but tomorrow he's got to tackle his biggest challenge yet. Rob's designed a gruelling mock interview that will test his every weakness. But can he hold it together? So I'm going to keep working hard, keep practising my questions. I can't wait. I can't wait to get in there and, and try anything they've got to throw at me now, because I've done the karaoke, I can do anything. It's day three. Rob has primed actors to give Ryan the toughest interview of his life. What I need to do is really test what his limits are. Mm -hmm. Because he thinks he's good, my worry is that he's not. A few days ago, Ryan crumbled as a candidate. What um, strengths do you think you bring to the role then? Although it's not it's the same, my sales is good. Mm -hmm. I, I can sell to people, I can um, convince them they need to buy it. Can he really have changed after just three days? Hello, Ryan. Hi. Yep. How are you? Shaking hands. 
Good, good. Come on, Ryan. He's smiling. Right, so let's say um, you have a customer who comes in, they've bought the car, they've taken it away, and it's, it's broken down, and they've come back and they're, they're complaining. How would you handle that? That customer. What well, of you course, do? if they if they've got a genuine complaint, I'm going to um, I'm going to apologise and uh, right. Come on, Grant, move your hands, gesticulate a little uh, bit. I think if that would happen, you've got to make. Come on, these are easy questions. You should be able to respond to these. Make them feel, make the customer feel. They're not they're not wrong by coming back and and complaining. You know? yes. What I want you to do is ask him some difficult questions, but also in your mannerisms be a bit tougher. What qualities do you think you have personally that can help you rise to that challenge? I'm hard working. I, uh, like I said before, I'm tenacious. I like to, uh, to see things through to their conclusion. I always give things 100%. That's really good. You're now counting things off on your so fingers. I'm, I'm this is brilliant. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily need to work a nine to five day. I want you to ask some negatively phrased questions Next to him. I think there is a risk in employing you. There isn't. I think there's a very great risk. What, I'm not what, sure if we're prepared you, to take that risk. What do you consider the risk to be? You're very inexperienced. That isn't uh, necessarily a bad thing. Because you're my first, you would be my first employers in this, in this industry, uh, you, you'd have an opportunity to mould me into the ideal employee. I think. I could come to embody your, your whole sales ideals um, because my brain is untrained by any other company. That's good. Can we go back at the interviews? Why do I want to employ you? I only know my own abilities, Yeah. but I'm quite sure of them. And I'd say that I would be the best person, the, the hardest working person. Right. And if you want a good, dependable, solid employee, then Ryan Hollands is your man. Okay. Okay, right. thank you very much okay. for coming in. Thank and, uh, you, Ryan. We'll I'm surprised. I'm really pleasantly surprised by how well Ryan has done. I can kind of feel it like a lump in my throat. <laughs> so how did that feel? Um, I think it, went, it got better as it went on, I think. Oh, you should be pleased. I'm I am pleased. pleased. I am definitely pleased, but... Um, I thought, I, I, you I'm know, sure I was how listening. I to everyone else. I was listening and I was watching. I was so proud of you because you were holding eye line. You never hold eye line with me when I talk to you. Why don't you bloody well look at me in the eyes? That was really good. You should be sort of leaping around for oh, joy. Oh, fair enough. I'll leap around for joy. <laughs> I think we should probably go get a drink, really. OK, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry I've been a to you, but I think, you know... No, it's been worth it. it wasn't it's there. been worth it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I should perhaps send him a bunch of flowers or a thank you card or something. Um, I, I didn't agree with all these methods all the way through, but... They definitely helped, definitely helped, so um, I'll take my hat off to you.